XRP, former fastest gun in the West. But compared to modern day blockchains, it's the dog of the group. I mean, look at this. Solana, the numbers don't lie. 65,000 TPS. HBAR, 10,000 TPS. Avalanche, cooking at 4,000. And we have XRP at what? 500, 1,500 TPS, whatever they're claiming now. And again, all these numbers of all these chains here that are being presented are their quoted max capacity uh, in a lab in a perfect environment. None of them do this in the real world out in the wild. But still, comparatively, XRP quite slow. Static used to dominate at. Now it's lagging behind. What gives? And if we are going to send 100 payments on Solana, and we send 100 payments on XRP, which one are they going to settle on first? Well, that's a different question, isn't it? Now we're talking about finality. And if we're looking at finality of blockchains, you have Avalanche, near instant payments, under a second. XRP, three seconds. HBAR, seven seconds. Solana, 12 to 40 seconds. Actually, you know, transactions on Solana, they're kind of the slowest, aren't they, in some ways? I mean, is a, is a transaction fast? If it's not final, if it could be reversed, if it could be changed? Not until it's final is it done. A different stat that we have to look at. Again, Avalanche is the fastest gun in the West when we're looking at finality. And XRP is quite uh, you know, competitive here. So is HBAR. And Solana lags behind. Well, for sending cross-border payments, what else do we need? We need finality. We need to know the payment is done and won't be reversed. Well, you also need liquidity. So let's add that in there. Well, when you do that, you reshuffle the order once again. XRP jumps to the head of the pack. Solana has a ton of liquidity too, but it's very slow on its finality. HBAR and Avalanche are cooking, but they don't have enough liquidity. If you have to wait to send more payments and settle out your transactions because there's just not enough liquidity to jam all those payments in, you're not fast, are you? So when we're looking at blockchain, there's no singular answer to what's the important stat to look at. There is no like kingmaker stat like TPS or even finality or liquidity. It's all part of a, a larger picture. And what you'll find is all the great ones, all the great blockchains leverage certain strengths. This is part of design to do certain things. I could sit here and make fun of Solana's finality, but you know, when we look at this, TPS, a metric used to measure the number of blockchain uh, transactions a blockchain network can process in one second. High TPS is crucial for networks that aim to support a large volume of transactions efficiently. You need high throughput. You're doing gaming. It's not so important if if you were to have a transaction, you know, reversed in 12 seconds or 20 seconds in a game, not the end of the world. You have to re-roll your characters all the time in games. But you sure need that throughput to just have massive amounts of transactions. And there's a bunch of things where you need high throughput, where you cannot function without it. So if you are doing, you know, one of these activities where you need high TPS and you don't really care about the finality of the transaction. It's not like you're sending a bunch of money and someone's releasing uh, you know, Bitcoin to you or something like that, and you better make sure that that payment is final and locked in before you, you know, do a DeFi transaction per se or something like that. You know, sometimes you need that finality, but sometimes it's not so important and it's all about the TPS. Again, depending on what you're trying to do, these stats mean different things. If you're sending cross-border payments, well, finality is pretty darn important, isn't it? If you're doing DeFi, pretty important. And so when we're looking at things, you're sending a cross-border payment, XRP, really great chain. You have a, a blockchain game and you just need massive TPS. You're going to go with Solana. You ain't going to go with XRP. You know, you're doing a stock exchange 24-7, 365 trading, HBAR, pretty good blockchain, isn't it? If you are doing DeFi and you have near instant finality, Avalanche, fantastic, right? It's all about a give and a take. And anything you do in design, uh, XRP is very fast for what it does well, for what most of its use case is designed around, settling payments. When you add up everything in aggregate, it is very fast and efficient, world-class at that specific task. No blockchain is going to be great at everything, world class at everything. You want to build a complicated D app? Not going to do that on XRP. You're going to take that over to Ethereum, right? So, 
you really can't take any of these various stats as kingmaker stats. Oh my gosh, this is the end of the world. Solana just rules all chains because it's, you know, has the highest TPS. I think Nier is actually a little bit faster, but you know, you got to take everything as you would, I think, a developer. What are you trying to do and what meets your needs in the best possible way? Which, uh, and then beyond that, you have all sorts of other considerations to take in things like developer community. Um, you know, do you have a, a community that supports you in terms of users, investors? Like, there's a whole litany of stuff. Is the blockchain reliable? You know, if you're doing gaming, hey, it doesn't really matter if the blockchain goes down from time to time. If you have, like, you know, the world's payments relying on you, going down for six hours, pretty big deal. So, again, they all have different strengths and weaknesses. And uh, the really good ones, they'll find their niche and they'll be important for that. And you'll build out. Uh, along those rails and I think that's all that matters but sometimes people run wild with these various metrics acting like that's the be all end all and there is no such metric I wish there was It'd make things a lot easier we just find the blockchain with the highest TPS and that would be the end of it that's the winner or with the best finality that will be the winner just doesn't work like that it's the whole package together that we really have to look at let me know what you think down below as always please like please subscribe the revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.